Okay, today we're going to uh, use file encryption and we're going to use KGPG in the KDE desktop. First of all, I'm going to need to open a file and uh, I'm going to grab this information. Okay, so if we just copy and paste that, so we're going to copy it. Close that. And then we can open a terminal. Uh, right click and paste. Press enter. And then we're going to start kgpg uh, dash minus k. That opens the key management interface. Okay. So we go to keys click on generate key pair and we put a name in so uh, T me no T is me I think this is, this is just a, a, a test okay so you need to fill in all your details as you want okay Matt I know I need to change that to act okay now we put uh, we can put some in the comments I'm just gonna say it's a test key and I want the keys to expire in seven days okay now normally I usually make a key size 2048 and I use DSA and El Gamalo. Click OK. It asks for a password. Now this is your password that you're going to use for encryption. Okay, this is not your, your user password. This is a totally different password that you're going to use for encryption. Okay, make sure they match. Okay, click OK. <coughs> Excuse me, let's put that up there a second. Okay, now this could take quite a bit of time, really. Uh, don't worry uh, if it takes five or ten minutes, just carry on doing whatever you want to do. If you want to run uh, Firefox or whatever, and then uh, shortly we'll have a notification. Okay, so there's a notification on the bottom, and it's showing that the new key pair has been created. Click OK, and this is the new key. Okay, this is our new encryption key. Okay, so I can kick, click close on that for the key management. I go back to my console. I type in KP, KGPG minus, and it's um, D. Okay. Okay. So we can say this. This is a bit. This is a part of KGPG that encrypts. So I can open the file and it pops it into there. Okay. And this is the contents of that file. Click it, encrypt. Choose the key to encrypt with, and that is the encrypted text. Text. Okay. Okay. So get rid of that. Discard that. Okay, so go back to that file. Oh, not that one, that one. Open this file and we can copy the contents of the file as well. And we can paste that there. And then click encrypt. Again, choose the key. Click OK. And there we have the encrypted information. Okay, I delete that, uh, X that off, discard it. Now I'm going to encrypt a file. Okay, make an unencrypted file. Right click actions, encrypt, choose the key, click OK, and it produces an encrypted file. So this is the encrypted file. Right, 
Well, if I double click on it to decrypt it, it'll overwrite the existing one. So I need to change the name. Okay? Do I want to overwrite it? Because it'll, it'll overwrite the file and you'll lose the file. Okay. Overwrite, then click, uh, put the password in. Okay. So the password for that encrypted file is the one that we put in to KGPG originally. Click OK. And you see it's produced a new file. And this is a copy of the original file. Okay. And uh, let's delete those two. Okay, and that's it. And that's how to do file encryption in KDE. And as you can see here, I've used solid K.